evening. What's up, folks? Happy Friday. What is going on, you guys? Welcome in. Happy Friday. I'm going to sit back here and say hello. Hello to the chat. Happy Friday, you guys. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome week. Welcome to the channel. If you're catching this on the replay, my name is Roy. This is Horizon Picks. Hit me up. Hit up our sellers. Uh, if you see anything you like, if you miss this on the live, that's fine. Although, you got to be in it to win it. If you're live, you get first dibs, all right? So, uh, I am a full-time seller specializing in everything from graphic tees, comic books. Tonight is the comic shop sale. Been doing this for over three years, maybe around three years. So uh, welcome in. I'm going to say hello to the chat in just a minute. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Would appreciate that. Um, got some new comic books tonight. It's been a busy week for this guy. Uh, got some new books, new shirts. Uh, I'm going to be starting off, you guys, my first turn, I'll always uh, usually on the Friday, start off with graphic tees, ease into some comics. Um, I've bought some new goodies, uh, bought some collections recently, uh, and had a lot of fun uh, also getting ready for some upcoming sales as well. Uh, but a lot of that stuff, I got to get it, sell it, show it to you. If you love it, I appreciate it. So I uh, appreciate you guys coming in. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, I do have subscribers mode on for one minute. So if you're new, uh, if you're like, why can't I type into the chat? Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notifications, hit the thumbs up, would appreciate it. You wait one minute, the chat will reload. You can come on in and say hello. I would love to hear from you. Uh, appreciate each and everybody that comes by on your Friday night. Uh, it is the 12th. Uh, we are second week of April. You know what I did today? I did my taxes. I started my taxes today. It's kind of the tax weekend. Um, but um, <clears throat> tonight, tonight so far, you're looking at it. It is me. Uh, other folks uh, were traveling. I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to make it tonight. Uh, I'm going to be meeting up with some folks tomorrow over in uh, downtown in Allentown, where I live, Lehigh Valley Comic Con. Uh, going to be meeting up with AJ and Kayla and Shane and Samantha from Secrets Collectibles and some other folks from our chat. So uh, they are traveling. They're actually traveling out uh, and landing in my area. Tomorrow's a big Comic Con downtown. I'm um, looking forward to that. So uh, they were traveling. Uh, Kayla and AJ traveled up to upstate New York to see the eclipse. They caught the eclipse in upstate New York. Uh, and Shane and Samantha traveled down this way. Uh, and Collecting Chaos was actually having internet problems. His internet was in and out uh, with storms. Um, so it's just yours truly, but you know, you know, I can run a solo sale, guys. No problem. So going to be having some fun with that. Uh, before I get started, I'll say hello to the chat in just a minute. Uh, we do have this Saturday is the 13th. Next Saturday is 420, April 20th. Uh, not only is it, uh, <laughs> if you're into the partaking side of things, it is a big day for that and celebration. If you're into the cannabis culture, it is also my three-year anniversary of my first live auction sale here on YouTube. So please join me. That is going to be next Saturday, 420, 6 o'clock. Uh, I have a lot of goodies, uh, rock tees, 420 tees, 420 merch, all legal stuff, guys, all legal stuff. Uh, some goodies. Uh, maybe you need a piece of glass. Maybe you need a uh, shirt. Uh, maybe you're into some uh, comics. Maybe you're, you know, I have, I have it all. So, going to be having some fun with that. That is next Saturday, 4:20. Please come hang out. If you're into that or not, I think you'll be enjoyed. I'll be solo uh, next Saturday. Going to have some fun with that. It is a milestone for yours truly. So I appreciate it. Also, you guys, we are back on Monday, Monday, seven o'clock with AJ and Kayla. Please join us. We do that show every other 
every other week. And we are back seven o'clock on Monday. So please join us for that. That's the variety sale. Pretty much kind of anything goes with that. We show all kinds of merch. Um, it's not really comic book centric, but of course, with the graphic tees and other goodies. Uh, and I know uh, AJ and I have sold like some bulk lots as well. Uh, but anything can be sold on that show. So we have a lot of fun with that. We've been doing that for uh, a bunch of months now. It's been a lot of fun. All right. So let me say hello to you guys in the chat. Uh, if you're new, if you haven't purchased from me, maybe you've moved. No problem. Up at the top in blue, there is actually a form there. Please fill that out. Let me get your information if you want to take part in the live sale and claim anything tonight. Uh, and then I could follow up with you. I usually follow up by tomorrow or over the weekend. It is a pay-as-you-go. All the information is down below uh, for the sale, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know. I do flat shipping payments through PayPal or Cash App. Uh, easy peasy. All right. What is going on? I saw him first in the chat. What's going on, East Coast Comics? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for coming by, Miss Laura. That is jewelry, etc. What's going on, Laura? But it's Laura. It's Laura, etc. Because <laughs> you're now you're you're doing. Are you selling your sewing stuff, Laura? That is so cool. I love any kind of handcrafted type stuff. What's going on, Tate? Good to see you, man. Tate Prime in the house. Hello, hello. Appreciate you, man. Hope you're having an awesome week. Yes, I said it is. It felt like a full week. It feels like Friday. Uh, looking for it. I'm so excited to have some plans tomorrow. What is going on, Kat? Good to see you. Yeah, I'm sorry. Heal up. I've injured my wrist in the past. I've sprained it several times. It sucks. I know how that is. Uh, I always just say, you know, ice, ice is nice, man. I'm just like ice the F out of it. That's the way I roll ankle, wrist, elbow, ice. That's just the way to go. What is going on, custodian Ken? Good to see you. Hello. Hope you're doing well. Did you get those goodies okay, Ken? I want to make sure you had a trinket box in there and some other goodies you should have. What is happening? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, nappy. You got a nappy? That's awesome. I didn't get one. Well, yeah, I kind of dozed off on the couch for like a half hour. I blame my cats. Good to see you, Apple. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. What's up, Mr. You? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I know I saw <laughs> I saw you got the candy uh, from uh, your box. Uh, some lonely Swedish fish. I That made me laugh. You posted that to social. I have your action figures, my man. Uh, you're welcome to add on if you see anything you like. I think you guys might enjoy some shirts that I have tonight. Yes, yes. All right. We're gonna get, I'll get started. I uh, usually get started about 15 minutes in, about another four or five minutes. If you guys want to grab a drink, grab a snack, I'm going to kick off with some graphic tees, uh, some goodies. Uh, what is going on? Yes. <laughs> You're sure to... Okay. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It was a boy's large too small for you. All right. No problem. I I apologize for that. Uh, if you'd like, uh, I could certainly credit you. It's no problem. Uh, I know you pick up a lot of stuff. Sometimes that does happen. I apologize. Uh, if you send me a note, Twist, I'd be happy to credit you for another shirt. No problem. I think that was in the $5 pile. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. What is going on, Vanessa? Doing laundry. I am with you. I did some. Yeah, I fluffed. <laughs> I fluffed up some shirts. Uh, I always like to make sure they present well on camera, you know. And it's like when I get some new stuff, I'm like, yeah, that don't look good. <laughs> <laughs> and I gotta, I gotta launder it. Yes, just peeking in, doing some laundry. Da 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 da. Art in general, awesome. Oh, and then yes, you're doing the fish. That's so cool. I, I think that's awesome. When you can make your art or your own art, when you can make your own art and sell it, that's a beautiful thing. Create your own commodity. It's the way to go. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, still, yes. I know. Yeah, you're, uh, you guys, I mean, if you don't follow or watch Laura, I mean, I bought stuff from her 
gemstones, jewelry, sterling, like, you know, um, awesome, awesome stuff. Yeah. Laundry is good. You did. Oh, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Appreciate that. All right. So, um, yeah, the just some quick, uh, quick stuff for the auction. Uh, you guys, I see mostly regulars in the chat. If you're lurking, we I basically do a lot of buy it nows. I try to move at a quick but not rapid pace. Uh, you know, you guys are always welcome to tell me if I'm going too fast or too slow. Uh, I aim to please. My whole thing is I want to show as much merch as I can to you guys uh, to pick and choose, see something you like because it's buy it nows. Um, normally on the Fridays we have uh, a decent sized chat, but buy it nows are the way to go for me. Uh, and I basically lower stuff until it sells. Um, and most of the time, if you pick up multiple, if you pick up multiple items, it's going to be cheap. My first turn is going to be $15 t-shirts, but if you do two, it's two for 25, okay? Um, going to be having fun. <laughs> yes. What was that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I uh, hope you love uh, the that V for Vendetta was really cool. Let me know. Make, let me make, I want to make sure everything gets to you and gets to you guys. Shipping-wise is okay. All kinds of stuff went out in the last two weeks. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Up to you. No problem. I want you guys to be happy. Uh, it's no problem. Uh, people that are regulars like you, Twist, uh, all you have to do is let me know. I'd be happy to swap something for you. Uh, I, got, I want you guys to be happy. What is going on, Pam Cliff? Did you get your last box, Pam? I want to make sure. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, like I say, whenever Pam... Oh, you emailed me. Yes, she did. And you can thank Pam Cliff. You can thank Apple in the chat. She actually found that little hedgehog that I gave to you. So I want to give credit where credit is due. Apple found that for you, Pam. Uh, but um, I hope you love. Pam Cliff, regular, I appreciate you. Whenever she gets, I ship her box. I am always like, ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> ooh, that's a good one. So... I hope you love, uh, when I ship out your box, I'm like, yay, I appreciate the constant patronage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He, he was super cute. I had been looking one forever, but Apple found one and, uh, got it to me and I got it into the box. What's going on, Roxana? Good to see you, Roxana. Hello. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing well. Yes. <laughs> I hope you love it, man. I really hope you love it. Uh, it was it was a win-win. That was a sick Venom shirt. If I didn't sell it, I might have worn that to the Comic-Con tomorrow, honestly. But uh, I have. I think I'm going to sport my uh, my Black Panther hoodie. Weather's supposed to be meh. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but I, I hope you love. I hope things fit. I know Twist had one shirt that didn't make it. I want to make sure things fit. It also, I kind of have a memory for my buyers and what might fit you for when I pick new stuff. And again, whether you like it, whether you pick it up or not, I kind of have an idea of who may enjoy certain things. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I'm sipping some Java. How about we get started? Um, Collecting Chaos was supposed to maybe try to get back on. I haven't seen him come into the chat, and it's it's fine. If you guys see him in the chat, let me know. Do an at symbol to me. Or KK, if you're in the chat, do an at symbol to me uh, if you're hanging out in StreamYard, but I see it here. All right. <laughs> That's right. You go into a Comic-Con. It's like, yeah, I'm like, oh, my gosh. All right. So. Speaking of the Comic-Con, speaking of clothing, let's get started. Make sure you guys are in live chat, okay? It is super important. Uh, just this past week, I went back and was looking at someone's items, forgot to hit the live button, and I was uh, 10 minutes in the past, but the chat is still live. So I was commenting on stuff that was old. So make sure you are in live chat, little red dot down here is red make sure you do you do that okay um want to make sure you guys are live in what you're seeing 
and what's in the chat. If you find that you are behind, we always say refresh. I don't really like the refresh. If you go right down here, there should be a little cog. If you hit that and you hit fast forward two times, it should knock out the lag, even though you're live. There's a little trick for you. Also helps you snipe. So I do it all the time. It does work. It's a fun little trick, especially if you see something coming up, whether it's on my channel or anybody else's, that's a little hack. Hit the fast forward button. It will knock out that lag and get you kind of closest to live with minimal lag. All right. So th thought I'd throw that out there for you. I wanted to show this. As a first item, I'm going to show a couple bangers to start, and then I'll get into uh, some of the other stuff. So, speaking of the con, <laughs> I actually picked this up this week. It fits me. I love it. But I got you guys. I have so much stuff. I can't keep everything. Would I wear this? Yes. Does it fit me? Yes. Am I going to offer it for sale? Yes. Okay. This is a Mad Engine Old Tag Marvel. And it is an, uh, an extra large, I think about a 2X. So this is a roomy Deadpool uh, varsity uh, snap jacket. Super cool. Uh, it is all cotton. Really, really cool. Embroidered Deadpool. Um, if you want this, you have to have this in your life. It is really, really cool. Um, you know the Deadpool movie's coming out. I'm going to offer this as a buy it now. Keyword is Deadpool, 25 bucks if you're interested, okay? Uh, it is absolutely awesome if you like, all right? So I'll show that as one of my first items, 25 if you like. I know, I almost was going to wear it tonight for the show, but it's, it is a little bit, it's been raining on and off here. It's a little bit humid uh, here on the East Coast at the moment. Yes, <laughs> I should keep it. I can't keep everything. It is really cool. Um, so if anybody's in interested, a Rumi XL, um, and it's 25. So keyword is Deadpool, if you're interested, okay? So that's the first shirt I want to show. 25 on that. We're going to go over here. I got two more, a couple more bangers that I wanted to show, and then we'll get into some of the $15 she's. All right, so this one, normally... Normally, you see, I love this band. It's uh, I saw this band when I was a teenager. Absolutely awesome. Red Hot Chili Peppers. This is actually a tour shirt from their tour from last year, 202-2022-2023 tour. Uh, but I actually haven't seen this in the purple. I've actually seen it on white and black. And this is this really awesome uh, kind of candy-like purple color. Uh, if you're interested now, the, the tag is deceiving. The tag actually reads as a large. This almost fit me. It was just a little bit small for me. I put this in an XL, honestly. If you, if you hold it up, you can see it almost fits me. This is 20. If you're interested, it's crispy. There's no cracking on this. Red Hot Chili Peppers. It, the tag, it's a roomy large if you like like a nice roomy large but i'm really putting this in an extra large okay if you're interested yeah chili peppers are awesome uh, they're gonna they're gonna go until they kill they can't go no more so if you're interested 20 bucks chili peppers in this absolutely awesome let me show the back one more time if you like It is, it's not, uh, you know what, Mr. U, it's not really Lakers purple. This one, it's, it's almost like, I hate, it's more candy, like uh, taffy color. Uh, Lakers is a little bit more heavy, heavy purple, like a more plum. So this one has a little bit of white in it, in the purple. It's not as intense as a Lakers purple, in my opinion, the way I see color. Color is subjective. So we'll go here. This one's fun. This one is a uh, Marble Mad Engine again. Nice lined hoodie for Spider Man. Uh, this one is a large, size large. If you're interested, 15 on this. Spider Man, really, really cool. 
uh, nice lined hoodie, men's large from the uh, amazing Spider-Man movie logo. This is totally embroidered, kangaroo pocket, really, really cool. Yes. Grimace for... <laughs> That's right. What's going on, Homeschool Lou? Good to see you. Yes. Grim, I would agree. Kind of grim as purple. That's a good illustration. So, kangaroo pocket, pullover, hoodie uh, for Spider Man, 15 on this. It is large. Okay. So, I showed a shirt that ended up selling, um, and it was a Dungeons and Dragons shirt. And I know, and I know Miss Laura is in the chat watching. So we'll show this. Uh, I'm going to put this one. This one is totally Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I appreciate Homeschool Lou must have looked this one up. I did look it up as well. So this is totally D&D. &D. You could certainly try. Uh, I'm going to offer this. I'm just going to say unisex large 15 on this. If anyone's interested. 15 and this is in a dark gray okay dark gray the spider <laughs> the spider freaks you out that's funny <laughs> so if you want this dragon there is no tag on this but i did look this up and yes i've seen this in different colors if you want this 15 and you could combine it with my stack of $15 if you pick up a second. We'll do two for 25. So if you want it, throw in dragon. I'm going to say unisex large on this one. No tag. Okay. So let me know on that. And we have two more. All right. So these are fun. Just kicking off the show, you guys. Come on into the chat and say hello. We are just getting started. Now, this one's really fun. All right. So we'll do, we'll show this one first, actually, because this one, I love it. And in this one, again, I'm going to put this, there's no tag. I'm going to put this in, let's see, I'm going to hold it up with this last shirt and see if it's, because there's no tag. I just want to make sure I get the sizing. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller than the previous shirt. But here you go. Check this out. <laughs> Not a sword, Laura, but pretty close, All right. So I'm going to put this in unisex large ish it is a little bit smaller than the last shirt in length all right so we'll do dice if you want this choose your weapon and it has all six die on there and this is like a olive brownish olive color all right really really cool so choose your weapon we'll do dice if you would like this one same price okay so if you wanted both shirts i would do the two for 25 but i got one more just to give you an idea of some i don't know who you're buying this for or if it's for you so this one's hilarious uh this one is in a medium it has actually has a tag it is a medium all right, so check this out. And if you are, you know somebody that plays Dungeons and Dragons, this is frigging hilarious. <laughs> so there you go. You reach out, push the orc off the ledge. Oh, you rolled a one on the 20 sided die, but instead you lightly caress his back. He is uncomfortable. <laughs> Absolutely awesome farce shirt now again this one's just going to be 10 throw in we'll, we'll throw in we'll just take one o-n-e one as the keyword it is on a black tee there as you could see there's a little bleach a little bleach mark towards the bottom of this shirt all right but it is it is a, in a size unisex medium on the black really really cool so we'll take one if you want it this is 10 bucks buy it now i have actually not seen this i haven't looked much but i, I looked at some DD shirts i didn't find this one so people that know if you play dungeons and dragons and you roll a 20 you roll a 20 you you hit 20 that's double damage you hit one you roll to see if you like stab yourself or stab your partner <laughs> 
<laughs> but you could caress an orc's back if you, <laughs> if you mess up. So there you go. Dice in one. Okay. All right. All right. So <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do, Laura. I know you wanted the other. I'll do two for 20 for you if you're cool with that on these. All right. I just wanted to make sure. I know you wanted the sword. It did sell. So I will. I'll do the two for 20 if you want these. All right. So it sounds like you want those. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Fun stuff. The orc is traumatized. That's hilarious. All right, you guys. So she grabbed those. I appreciate it, Laura. I'm awesome. No problem. I'll follow up with you. I appreciate it. And hang out. You know, I got more goodies coming up. So this one's still available. We'll take Dragon uh, Unisex. I'm calling it large. Uh, 15 on this, but I'll do the two for 25 because I got more shirts coming up. Okay. So this one is still available. Laura picked up the other two. Um, while we are at it. I wanted to show these. I like to combo. Um, what's going on, Jocelyn? Good to see you, Jocelyn. Thank you for coming. Happy Friday to you. All right. So uh, I'm going to show some comics real quick. Uh, we're going to do $10 buy it now. If anybody's interested, since we're doing the D&D theme, this was Dragonlance Chronicles number one from DDP. Uh, very, very cool book. Uh, comps were pretty good on it. Dragonlance Chronicles number one. And I'm going to throw in this Gloomhaven Fallen Lion. This is a one shot, also uh, in the kind of DD &D vibe. So if anyone's interested, 10 bucks I'll do uh, for both books uh, Chronicles number one, first print, and the Gloomhaven, if you're interested. Yes. So, and I think this might be a variant cover. So I'll throw that out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let me know, guys. Just throw in a 10 if you want these. I'm going to get into some more T-shirts in just a second. Uh, since I was going through, and uh, I know Laura, and uh, there was other interest in D&D &D stuff. So I thought I would, uh, I would throw these out there. Very cool stuff. Dragonlance number one, right? All right, so let me grab this and put this over here. Also, also, um, I have Pokemon mystery boxes, all right? I still have one, two, three, four, five. I think I, I still have eight left. I know Homeschool Lou picked up, I think, two of those. Did you like those, Lou? Let me know. I hope you love those. I still have eight left. So let me show you this real quick. And I have a nice little freebie add-on. So this will be 15. Buy it now. You get a stack of 75 to 80 Pokemon cards and a few banger cards in there. And you get a 10. Like this one has the Charizard on the front. So 15 if you're interested on that. And I like to do combos. First person. First person to pick up or throw a 15. I'm going to give you this shirt as well on me pokemon large in a dark charcoal gray pokemon trainer shirt on me if you pick up a pokemon mystery box so 15 in the chat or pokemon and i have like i said i have eight of them left so let me know if you are interested okay pokemon trainer will go with it <laughs> put it Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, you got one. Okay. I couldn't remember. I can't, I couldn't remember. You got one or two. That's awesome. I hope you love, um, I made these a short time ago and <laughs> there's some nice value in there. So if anyone's interested and you like Pokemon, I'll throw in a free shirt, uh, with a mystery box. Uh, plus you get the tin. I threw in some toys. There's a couple unopened packs. Uh, luck of the draw. I have eight left. All right. Thought I'd throw that one out there. If anyone's interested in seeing some Pokemon cards later on in the show, I can make that happen. All right. So let's go. I'll go over here. Cool. All right. Good. I'm glad. I, you know, I, you guys know, I pretty much comp most of the stuff I sell. I try to give good value and if you pick up multiple stuff, then it's usually cheaper, right? So let me throw up this banner. 
uh, where are we at? 52 for 25. Okay. So I'm going to throw a keyword. You could do, you could throw in the keyword or 15. I will stop first in StreamYard. We'll get it. Um, I have 18 shirts here. Um, I'll stop in the middle, probably grab a sip and, uh, let me know if you see something you like. And like I said, this dragon one, uh, can be in the mix. If you were, uh, interested in this and you pick up a second, uh, then it would be, uh, the two for 20, uh, two for 25. All right. So let's go here. This one's fun. Two XL. Nice. Disney will take grumpy. This is a Disney store. Two X and it's grumpy. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Very, very, very cool. If you like, and this is on like a, a slate slate gray on the grumpy 2x on that from the disney store so 2xl grumpy <clears throat> we had this is women's medium this is a great great summer shirt women's medium keyword is stitch red white and blue also great for labor day memorial day Fourth of July, Olympics, <laughs> and he's chilling right there. Awesome stuff. Uh, stitch, if you like it. Women's medium. Very, very cool shirt. Licensed Disney. We still had a couple. I pulled a couple that I haven't shown in a, in a short while. Size large. Size large. <clears throat> <laughs> it looks, uh, we'll take Freddy's if you want this. This is a licensed Five Nights at Freddy's. Licensed Five Nights at Freddy's, and it's the Foz Cade. Very, very cool shirt. It's crispy, no cracking. So, Freddy's on this. And this one again, you can see light. We're talking, we're talking lavender on this one, if you're interested. Oh, oh, bomb pop. Yes. Looks like a bomb pop. Oh, I could go for a bomb pop right about now. All right. This one's fun. Uh, I'm kind of surprised nobody picked this up. Keyword is Hulk. This is a licensed Marvel 2X. Kind of a big deal. 1970s. This is on a heathered green. Really, really cool. Right there. I'm kind of a big deal. The Hulk, if you like it. You want the first one? All right, cool, cool, cool. Dragon. All right, Laura, you got it. Grab that for you. You got it. Thank you, my dear. Let me grab that real quick from the. Boop. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, if you pick up a second, it'll be cheaper. Absolutely. <laughs> Ah, your mother. That's hilarious. Hi, Mom. All right. So, uh, let me put these aside. All right, we were on Hulk. If you like the Hulk, we'll go back. Kind of a big deal. This is a 2X. 2XL Hulk. Right there. Almost wore this to the Comic-Con. Love this shirt. Kind of a big deal. We will keep it rolling. All right, this one's awesome. Women's. Yeah, another women's medium. This is a licensed Supergirl. Uh, comps are really good on this. It is a women's medium. Now, this is Lakers purple. This one's definitely Lakers purple. Women's medium. Uh, got the stripes. It's got a really cool glitter. Supergirl on the front, really, really cool. So, you know somebody that could rock this? I think it's fantastic. Licensed Supergirl, women's medium, if you're interested. All right, I showed this in a preview video this week. This is skate style, man. Skate style, if you're into Vans, Santa Cruz, uh, Metal Militia. This is the street skate brand Creature. Really, really cool. So keyword will be Creature. This is a unisex large in the black. 
Uh, really, really cool. I love it for this show because we love doing monster horror related stuff. Lots of crossover with this. Uh, it's crispy, no cracking, and it is a large. So if you like it, throw in creature in the chat. <laughs> I know, twist. I know. I'll keep, I, you never know. I mean, I find stuff. That Supergirl is fantastic. The quality of that is awesome. So we'll go here. This one's still available. Again, size large. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Licensed. Large. Sailor Moon stuff doesn't stick around too long. Super popular if you like it. Sailor Moon. Right there. All right. Size large. All right. This one's still available. Uh, this one, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to say women's 2X. Women's 2X. You could just throw in, we'll throw in Mickey if you want this. This was printed over this die. It is like a light pink crushed die. It is absolutely awesome. License Mickey and Friends. And man, I love it because they are having an awesome time. They are dancing. They are flirting. It's Friday. There you go. They may or may not have had some beverages. <laughs> Who knows? Fun stuff. If you want it, Mickey and friends. I'm going to say women's 2X on this. Love that shirt. Super cute. All right. New one. Just got this one in this week. This is Dragon Ball Z in an extra large. Dragon Ball Z licensed Dragon Ball in an extra large. Uh, no cracking. It is crispy, man. Good guys versus bad guys lineup. Dragon Ball, if you like it, throw it in the chat. Dragon Ball, extra large. Yep. Dark gray. This is, again, charcoal gray. Um, I know I've had some requests from multiple people, no black shirts, so dark gray. <laughs> may or may not be having. I'm out of adult beverages, uh, custodian Ken. So yes, I am I am out. All right. Let me take a let me take a little sippy sip. It's just me for tonight, it looks like, unless collecting chaos comes back. People were traveling. <sighs> Hey, friends. Thanks for hanging out, my friends. Appreciate you. Happy Friday. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys have. Anybody have any awesome weekend plans? I'm going to the Comic-Con tomorrow. Uh, going to have some fun with that. Looking forward uh, to uh, picking up some stuff, grabbing uh, some toys, maybe even a shirt. That might be fun. <clears throat> All right, all right. We're going to go through. We're going to go. This is the second pile. We're going to stay right on where we were. I got more. <laughs> Come on over. That's right. Yeah, Ken Ken digs on some uh, whiskey, man. I, I see some of the whiskeys he drinks. Love. I do like me some top shelf whiskey. Not going to lie. All right. This one's fun. Uh, nice 2X. You could throw in Superman if you want it. Superman licensed 2XL and it's super dad. And this is also on like a heathered, nice bright blue heathered shirt. So if you want it, 2X, 2X Superman also would make a really great gift. Uh, super dad, this is a nice brush cotton licensed Superman shirt. If you like, throw it in the chat. I'm going to get into some comics. I got some fresh books to show you guys as well. All right. I really want somebody to buy this. This is a Marvel large, large, and it's Rad Dad, man. I love this shirt. And again, a little bit of a heathered, uh, like a slate blue on this large Rad Dad right there. And let's just take a look at some of the graphics. It's crispy. You got Daredevil, Power Man and Iron Fist, Hulk. That actually looks like kind of like the Hulk from the shirt that I just showed. 
And then you have down here, you have classic Iron Man. You got an awesome Doctor Strange cap. And of course, Spidey. So rad dad. It is a large right there. Superman and rad dad. Ooh, I almost took this out of the pile, but I will leave it in. I'm going to just say large on this large and again if this was a 2x it wouldn't be for sale but this is this j scott campbell spider gwen this is an awesome shirt unisex i'm just going to say unisex large there is no tag but man it is by j scott campbell and she is is just fantastic spider gwen there's a whole movie going to be coming out in the miles morales style of uh, multiverse movies about using her with her etc so we'll take gwen if you want it uh love love this shirt definitely a comic-con friendly shirt spider gwen got, got the sg hanging out behind her love that i think that was actually from a variant comic i think spinner rack rick found that for me all right i'll show this one one more time size large throw in 15 or tom if you want it uh licensed tom and jerry in the large right there if you're interested it's awesome sublimated if there's no cracking on this it's sublimated printed right into the shirt so tom and jerry in a large if you want it throw in tom crispy Iron Man 2X, again, another great shirt for a con, men's 2X. Throw in Iron Man or 15 if you're interested in Iron Man. No cracking on this, crispy. Pew, pew, coming at you. I also had the action figure. Uh, crap, I don't know where I put them. Oh, here it is. Yep. I was also doing, if you're interested, I had the electronic action figure i was doing 20 for both this is an electronic 12 inch iron man 20 for the pair actually had a sale earlier this week uh, i'll do 20 for the pair this is a 2x but 20 he totally works lights and sounds on iron man if you like a little iron man in your life oh don't fall steve austin we love you stay stone cold all right this one was uh yeah we'll say unisex unisex large licensed with the guitar large licensed acdc black in back in black all gray licensed acdc so if you're interested large back in black awesome stuff right there awesome album love that all right crispy goodness one more time i'm kind of surprised this one didn't sell yet extra large venom no cracking it is crispy marvel venom in an xl right there almost like a brand new shirt beautiful condition venom in the chat if you like no cracking, really, really nice condition shirt. If you like Venom in the chat, XL on that. All right, this one's new this week. Uh, we'll take Naruto. Here's the front hit. Now, this is a long sleeve, extra large, long sleeve, extra large Naruto primitive printed over this die it's got a lot going for it long sleeve crushed die and check out this back hit so we'll take naruto extra large men's and awesome awesome graphic right there so naruto primitive right there that's the back of the shirt long sleeve really really cool so here you go awesome stuff XL on the Naruto. And I think this is the last. All right, last one. This one is Disney Large. 
Disney large. We'll just take cats if you want it. No cracking. I didn't actually find this for comps. Aristocats stuff usually does really well. If you're a reseller, if you just love the show, it is fantastic. Crispy kitties. I love the little annoyed one in the front. <laughs> so Aristocats. And that is, I'll show the tag, Disney Large, if you like. So throw in cats. And this is in a, I'll go back here. Yeah, it's in the, uh, in a teal. Right there. Aristo cats. No cracking. Really, really nice. What happened to the dog shirt? Not the Snoopy one, but the other one. Um... Oh, if your dog, the, the one, if your dog likes you, I'm going to grab another sip, you guys. That was the run. That was 18 of this price point. So if you guys want any of those, let me know. Do you mean, like, if your dog likes you, I can grab that twist if you want to see it. Uh, let me know. It was, uh, if your dog pays, I have to say, if your dog pays you a compliment. Okay. I have it. It's right here. I'll grab it. Let me grab it real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Grab it. Oh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Throw in dog. It's a large. If you want, if your dog thinks you're the greatest, don't seek a second opinion. Oh, I love it. Yeah. And it's in a medium slate gray, large. Show you the tag right there. Comfort colors, large. 10, if you want it. Actually, five for you. <laughs> I'll give you the credit. No problem. All right. You got it. <laughs> I'll throw you credit as well. No problem. I, I want you guys to be happy. And yeah, if you guys saw anything on the preview, that really was in comic shops, comic shop ish. So I didn't grab it tonight. Um, but anything from a previous video, you can always ask me. I aim to please. I'm always willing to. Uh, everything's kind of accessible. Uh, it's no problem. All right. So uh, what did I have? I had the Pokemon shirt. Deadpool. All right. I did, if anybody wants to see, um, I have a 2XL men's 2XL Aaliyah licensed. That's 15. And then I have, I think it's a large Andy Warhol Selena. So it's two awesome, uh, two awesome rest in peace female singers, 15 a piece on either of those. If you want to see either of them, let me know. Aaliyah is a men's 2X. Selena is a unisex large, I'm pretty sure. And they are both licensed, all right? Not a repop shirt, all right? So we're coming up on almost an hour. <clears throat> Let me see. Uh, show that, show that. All right. Oh, oh, this. I wanted to show this. Another little combo. <clears throat> Another little combo that I had. If anybody was interested, yeah, Comfort Colors is a really good quality. Um, this will be a buy it now. If anyone's interested and likes Doctor Who, I'll do the same. So $15, and if you wanted to combo with another shirt, you could. You'll get both of these for $15. So this is a licensed Doctor Who in a large. Licensed Doctor Who in a large. And it's got the, it's, it's awesome science with the TARDIS. And then I'm actually going to throw in, I got a copy of this. This is a nice hardcover Doctor Who annual from 2015. So if you like Doctor Who, uh, this is pretty cool. Put out by the BBC. There's comic art in here all about the show. Really, really cool. So throw in 15 or Doctor Who. You'll get both of these uh, for the 15. Uh, license Doctor Who in a large. Uh, and the annual as well.
So <laughs> wibbly, wibbly, wobbly, timey, time, timey, wimey stuff. <laughs> I love that. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, I do dig on some Doctor Who um, right there. So if you like 15 on that, you guys like Doctor Who, definitely falls into the uh, comic shop vibe. All right. So let me show a couple of these. We'll go. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I like to... Like to have fun, entertain. I hope you guys find it to be a sale and a bit of a show. Uh, I like like the show and tell uh, aspect of cool stuff. I like finding cool shit <laughs> and showing it to you. So we're gonna do here. I got some comics uh, for fo folks that are in the comic book crowd that are lurking, that are hanging out. Um, and let's see, what do we do? One, two, three. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. You guys, all right, we'll do, uh, I'm going to do winner's choice on these. And if you're interested, throw it in the chat. And then I'm going to, I have a whole stack of $5 comics I'm going to show as well. So we'll do a $7 start winner's choice. If you see something you like, you can bid. Uh, and if the winner uh, will start at seven, anybody can bid and you pick. You can have as many of these as you like uh, for the winning bid, right? Uh, and there's some nice value here, all right? So if you see something you like, let me know. We're going to start off. This is a really awesome cover. This is by Jessica Fong. And this is Poison Ivy number one. And it is the Pride variant by Jessica Fong. I love this. Humanity had its chance. Num, num, num. She's eating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic artwork right there. So Poison Ivy number one is a choice by Jessica Fong variant. Number two. Amazing Spider-Man 325. This is art by Todd McFarlane. Very, very cool. Red Skull, <clears throat> Red Skull on the cover, Captain America appearance. ASM 325. Uh, Todd McFarlane art. We'll go X-Men. X-Men super popular at the moment, folks. That cartoon. Uh, has gotten really, really good uh, reviews. This is 281. This is when the new team starts. Also art by the one and only Will Sportaccio. Really, really cool. If you're interested, Uncanny X-Men. This one I showed in a, uh, a haul video, Infinity, number 33. Now, this is art by Todd McFarlane again, but this is early Todd McFarlane work that he did for DC. Uh, Pre-spawn on that one. Really, really cool. Origin of Obsidian. So, For folks that like Todd McFarlane, he's pretty much like running Marvel at this point since Stan Lee is gone. So he is a big deal. And uh, there's kind of... He did Mr. Bones, but you could see some early Spawn influence in the way he did some of these covers for DC back in the day. This is uh, Batman 500, Joe Casada cover. Really cool. Foil logo, die cut. There's a poster in here. Uh, really, really cool. So if you're interested... Batman 500. This is like the deluxe version of that book. There was a basic 500 as well. This is the die cut cover with the poster, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, Joe Casada cover on that. How about a little Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? This is Power Rangers number one from Boob Studios. Really, really cool. This is a, a variant by Scalera. They did a lot of different covers, but Power Rangers, number one. I see you, Lou, for seven. Thank you. She's in. Anybody, if you're interested, got to go eight. Lou's going to grab, see something she likes. 
Still going? We have, this one is Spider Gwen, number 29. Now, this one is really cool. This one actually has, uh, uh, yeah, this one has Venom, Venomizes Gwen. So you have Gwenum, and this is also connected to the Spider-Verse. So this is, if you guys have seen any of the Mar Miles Morales movies, this one's definitely kind of connected to the Spider-Verse. So Spider Gwen, this also has a low print run. This is number 29. Okay. And a couple more to go. Incredible Hulk, 346. And again, this is the final Todd McFarlane. You can see McFarlane's signature right there with Eric Larson. Little Speedy Gonzalez is in the way. There we go. You can see McFarlane and Eric Larson. This is the final book in the last McFarlane Hulk that he did in that run. And Eric Larson as well. You kind of see Hulk is done by McFarlane. And then the people in the front are by Eric Larson. So pretty cool combo cover. We have Swamp Thing, number 61. Green Lantern appearance. This one also is the final story for Swamp Thing done by Alan Moore. And all the Swamp Thing, Alan Moore storylines are really like awesomely reviewed. Great story, great art. Uh, Alan Moore really uh, escalated Swamp Thing. All right, so this is number 61. Last, I think this is the, the last one. This is Marvel Comics Presents 142. And it has the Wolverine on one side, and it is a flip book. And then on the other side, you get Ghost Rider. Really, really cool. Ghost Rider looks like Ghost Rider taken on, might be Vengeance. Really, really cool. So Marvel Comics presents, all right? So uh, 10 books, 10 choices. Homeschool Lou is in at seven. We'd be looking for eight or better. Let me go through them real quick, and I'll run a timer for you, Lou, and you can pick. So Poison Ivy, ASM, McFarlane, X-Men, Infinity Inc., McFarlane for DC, Batman 500, Power Rangers number one, Spider Gwen, Ooh, I forgot to show. The back cover of this Power Rangers has this awesome Turtles ad. It's Power Rangers and Turtles as well. Look at that. It's really cool. That's on the back of that. Thought I'd show that. Spider Gwen with uh, Gwenum. Hulk with McFarlane. Last uh, McFarlane cover. Swamp Thing number 61. And the uh, Marvel Comics Presents 142 Wolverine. And Ghost Rider, right? however you want to show the book. So there we go. All right, looking for eight or better. Let me throw a 30-second timer for Homeschool Lou. If you're interested, guys, looking for eight or better. Right? Appreciate you guys hanging out in the chat. Looks like I'm running solo tonight. It's no problem. <laughs> We're about at the hour mark. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Power Rangers, Gwen, Hulk, Swamp Thing, Wolverine, and back around again. Anybody else looking for eight? Otherwise, I'm going to call it to Homeschool Lou at seven. Appreciate it. Let me run a little end line. Okay, what would you like, Homeschool Lou, out of the stack? You could pick as many as you like at the seven. Got you, Power Rangers. Yeah, you got it. Go, go, Power Rangers. If you dig on some Power Rangers, Lou, let me know. I have, If you like toys, I do have a lot of toys um, for, for uh, Bandai related. So I got you for these two. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I did have this guy. If you're at all interested, this is this uh, Bandai Megazord. He's like minty condition. 
If you're interested, I was at 10 on this toy. It is in mint. Bandai, I think it's 90s. Let's see. It's marked on. Yep, let's see. 1999. 1999 on this guy. Practically been conditioned. 10. If anybody wants, thought I'd show him since you like Power Rangers. Really, really cool. So, thought I'd throw Megazord. I also have a large transformer here and some other goodies, right? Awesome stuff, all right? If anybody else was interested in anything in this uh, as a single, please let me know. Let's get into some $5 books. All right. Let me get into some $5 books. Are you still, Tate, are you still watching? Are you hanging out with us, Tate? I had a couple uh, X-Men Wolverine. Uh, books a lot if you're if you're chilling no big deal either way all right so we'll go five bucks on any of these let me know if you see something you like five dollar books i got a whole bunch of new goodies here <laughs> pokes tate i know it's fine he might be it is friday um <laughs> it's all good I'm here, but very broke. That's fine. I'll show them in a little bit. Um, I had some, if I know you probably it may not, let me show them. It may or may not interest, but I found these, I found these, uh, oh, you want the Megazord? All right, cool, cool. Awesome. Yeah. I think you'll be happy with this guy. He's a beautiful minty example. His arms move, legs move. All the stickers are there. It's solid. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Let me grab that comment real quick. Awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> and if 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 Lou likes those kinds of toys, I have lots of action figures and vehicles and all kinds of goodies. All right. So <laughs> he's wearing his mask. So uh, on these... Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh, I'm just going to go 10 bucks. If somebody wants these, these are all mutant related, um, kind of like, um, almost like encyclopedia. If you're into the chronology and reading and knowing when certain things happened, uh, these are awesome. All right. So 10 bucks. Uh, there's four books here. Uh, and let me show you what you get. So throw first person to put in a 10. You'll get Wolverine Saga. This one's awesome. I also grabbed Marvel's Greatest Collections. That's from 2009. This is the 500 Celebration. Um, this one's got a lot. Again, if it's almost like these are almost like little mini encyclopedias uh, for X-Men, right? Really, really cool. If you're, if you like, if especially also if you're into comics and you want to know like the the storyline and what comics were doing what, these are great. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, man. That is, it is a mint condition. V for Vendetta, unopened, my man. You got it. It was, yeah, absolutely brand spanking new. <laughs> Next up, New Mutant Saga as well. So if you New Mutants, if you're into mutants, this one has an awesome wrap cover right there. I would say unless you really want to wear that mask or you really want to read it, but I would just buy a, a reader copy tape. But if you uh, if anyone's interested in these, awesome stuff, right? Uh, Ten bucks. Uh, uh, for this lot, right? Four books, 10 bucks. Uh, very, very cool stuff. If you're into mutants, because <clears throat> X-Men's super popular at the moment. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you got it. Yeah. Great to read. There's awesome stuff in here, Lou. I hope you love. Yeah. Great, great stuff. And uh, just... I I flipped through these and I was like, oh my god, I didn't know that. <laughs> very very cool. So you got it. 
Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> ah, Tate, here's Tate and his mask with nothing else. <laughs> Tate in his birthday suit. That's hilarious. All right. So <laughs> awesome. All right. Now we'll do the $5 books. Um, we'll do the $5 books. All right. So uh, starting off, this was pretty cool. Uh, this is X-Men 166. I just love the art on this. This is the Galgotha storyline kickoff. Absolutely awesome graphics on this cover. So X-Men 166. You guys could throw in the issue or throw in a five. I will stop and just tell me what you want. Ultimate X-Men number 37. David Finch cover. Daredevil. Friggin' awesome right there. X, Ultimate X-Men number 37. Little Jim Lee goodness. Uncanny 273. Jim Lee. Awesomeness. You get the Wolverine. Ah. Right there. Absolutely awesome stuff. Jim Lee, X-Men cover on that one, 273. This one's cool. Uncanny X-Men 313. You have Sabretooth and Phalanx appearances in this. Also, you got my man Gambit, who is super popular this week. I've heard good things about the cartoon and yada yada. You also have Storm on the cover. All right, Tate. Don't look, Tate. This one's awesome for five bucks. Incredible Hulk 603. Incredible Hulk 603. Wolverine versus Hulk. Look at that. Look how small Wolverine is on his back. Freaking awesome. Right there. And then it looks like there's also a uh, female uh, Hulk as well. So if you're interested, Hulk versus Wolverine. That's Hulk 603. We've got some DC books in here as well. Superman 813. Superman 813. Epic. Michael Turner cover. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> I heard. He's in it. Yeah. We love that. This is by the late, great Michael Turner. Awesome stuff right there. Superman. Michael Turner stole Superman. This one's cool. Green Lantern, number 29. Origin is retold on this one. Green Lantern, number 29. Origin retold. Um, I think it's also the origin of Abin Sur. Uh, where Hal Jordan got his powers from originally. Some fun covers. Justice League number one. Justice League number one. These are just $5 books, guys, if you see something you like. Okay. Um, I'll show this. <clears throat> I had this. I had some Spider-Man books. Uh, I know Homeschool Lou, you picked up that X-Men set. This is a Spider-Man in that same idea um this is the marvel spotlight of spider-man back in black so i'll do this one for five this one's also like a little mini encyclopedia with storylines and so forth so spider-man back in black marvel spotlight one of my favorite artists i know tate loves him as well he is absolutely fantastic Justice League number 11, Alex Ross cover. I mean, look at this epic artwork by Alex Ross. I'm sorry, Justice Society, JSA number 11. Look at that. Friggin' awesome. Hawkman, Superman, Flash, in the foreground. Really cool. JSA. This one's fun. Uh, Final Crisis number one. Final Crisis, number one. Yeah, he's Alex Ross. If I could be younger and have gotten into comic art, I'd do it like him, for sure. Final Crisis, number one, Green Lantern. Hey, where's Jocelyn? Jocelyn, if you're still watching, Star Trek, number 10, The Trial of James Kirk. 
I don't know if you need it. I don't know if you want it. Star Trek number 10. Trial of Kirk. Awesome, awesome stuff. There. Hellstorm, Prince of Lies, number one. If you're into if you're into Ghost Rider, Son of Satan, uh, this is Hell Damien Hellstorm, number one. Awesome, awesome stuff. Also has Lilith on the cover. Oh, Custodian Ken. Got the Star Trek. Got it. Awesome, bud. Thanks, Ken. Hellstorm, number one. This was kicking off the run <laughs> yes must have for a trekkie absolutely hellstorm number one if you're interested really really cool stuff happening on that hot hot lilith on the cover new uh new avengers number 51 new avengers number 51 man look at that cover i love dr strange he is like he is focused also has Ghost Rider in it, Double Ghost Rider, Doctor Doom, blah, blah, blah. Awesome, awesome stuff. So New Avengers, number 51. All right. Uh, this one, I love this. Blackest Night Batman, number three. What's up, Deuce? Good to see you. What the deuce? What's going on, bud? Happy Friday, man. Thanks for coming by. Just doing some $5 books. Blackest Night Batman, number three. Um, with uh black blackest uh whatever green lantern so black lantern in this one so this is the final yeah the the final issue of blackest night batman very cool <laughs> all right for those of you that like some uh joker two epic joker covers i tell you what i'll do if you like some joker in your life where we go. We got 50. I'll do both of these for five if somebody's interested. 50 countdown. This is this absolutely fantastic Joker by Kubert. And then you're also going to get Joker's Last Laugh, Acid Rain. Right there. That is number five. You want them, Apple? I don't I wasn't sure if you had this one or this one or both, but if you want them, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is probably this 50 countdown. There's some awesome covers. This one's probably my favorite out of the run. Absolutely awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right. Cool, cool. You got them, my dear. Put those aside. All right. Oh, this one's cool. If you're into DC books, this is the 51 countdown. <clears throat> so 51 countdown. And this is a full fold-out poster, you guys. I actually had, I had gotten a copy of this and taken the cover off. This folds out into a large, awesome poster by Andy Kubert. So if you could see here, 51 countdown. And then you could see the wraparound right there. It's like coming at you. And then there's even a third panel that is folded so if you're interested throw a five in or 51 if you like it love that graphic this one's a key uh always a great seller avengers this is number four right uh it is uh covers by <clears throat> sorry covers by george perez and uh this is the first carol danvers as uh Warbird, I think her name, but it's a it's connected to Carol Danvers, uh, and this awesome art by George, the late great George Perez, and it has a poster, so really really cool. It is a key. You grab a little sippy sip, and we'll kind of continue to go through some more comics. All right, let's see. We'll do. All right, we'll show these if you're interested. All right, these will be, I'll tell you what I'll do. If you're interested, I will do 10. This is X-Men 54, 55, and 56. Uh, part of the Onslaught uh, storyline. So Onslaught is revealed. 
So this is uh, 54. So 10 bucks I'll give you for all three of these. This is uh, 55 against the Sentinels. Again, Onslaught storyline again. And then this one, Magneto and Rogue. Again, Onslaught, more Onslaught. Hey, and then I thought it was so cool. I know you guys, <laughs> the trailer's out. <laughs> Crow City of Angels on the back of that one. I love the Crow. I'm like hoping that the new movie is as good as the last or the first one. So three books, Onslaught storyline. I'll do 10 for the three. A couple independents. These are fun. This one's just friggin' awesome. If you're into monsters, this is Monster Kill Squad number two um, by Bad Idea. Uh, really, really cool cover. The printing is friggin' awesome on these. So Monster Kill Squad number two. This guy almost reminds me of like Duke Nukem. He reminds me of Duke, if you guys remember the video game Duke Nukem. Betty and Veronica, this is a number one. Betty and Veronica, this is a variant from the Pittsburgh Three Rivers Comic Con, but it is the number one. Betty and Veronica from Archie Comics. So, uh, Pittsburgh Comic Con special variant on that. Betty and Veronica, number one. Got another Joker, awesome Joker. This is Robin 2, number one, Joker's Wild. This is a cover by Matt Wagner, who used to do used to do and does Grendel. But this is the hollow Robin 2, number one. They did a whole bunch of hollow variants. This one's probably my favorite. Crazy Joker in the Asylum, right there. So Matt Wagner. Young Justice, number 15. Uh, this is uh, Super Superboy's Identity Revealed. It is a minor key. Young Justice, number 15. And this one, <laughs> I couldn't not show this. I think it's so great. It's just, I love farce. So there you go. <laughs> The Art of the Deal. This is Dr. Tomorrow, number nine. And you guys know uh, it is an election year. But I also like Greed is Good, which is Gordon Gecko from the movie Wall Street. But I love <laughs> The Art of the Deal. <laughs> ah, great farce cover. Love it. Right there. So Dr. Tomorrow, number nine. This type of stuff's going to heat up uh, as we get into the fall, shall we say. So there you go. If you like it, Dr. Tomorrow. All right. so. <laughs> I had to show that. <clears throat> All right. So let's go into some other goodies. Um, we have another sippy sip here. Robin with Joker. You got it. Yep. Yeah. Pretty awesome one there, Ken. You got it, my man. Matt Wagner, Hollow. Yeah. That one's by probably my favorite. I think they did five of those covers. Um, if you're interested in the others, I think I have a full set of those. Let me know, Ken. You got me on IG. If you want a set of them, let me know. Yeah. Yep. All right. <clears throat> so um, if anyone's interested, I have a couple slabs back here as well. Um, let me show these real quick. I did have a couple slabs that I was featuring. And um, you guys know I like to move some slabs for some for some cheap prices. All right. So I'll take this one off. Um, either of these slabs is 25. Just to buy it now, 25 bucks. They're 9.8. This is uh, Guardians Team Up number seven. Guardians Team Up number seven. Looks like um, uh, Drax with Ant-Man. Yep. Looks like Drax with Ant-Man on the cover. So Guardians team up number seven in a 9.8. Cover is by Lopez. So Minty doesn't get much better than 9.8 on a slab. Guardians. And then this one was fun. Um, this is Fanboy number three. Fanboy number three and a 
And uh, this is the cover is actually by uh, Sergio Aragonis, Maguire, and Alpiza. And Aragonis probably did that, that guy right there. But this is actually an homage cover as well. So fanboy number three. And this is an homage cover. And I'm going to give you this as well. So this is the homage cover that it's kind of from, which is Justice League Europe number one. So I'll throw this in as well for the 25 if you're interested. And that's kind of where it comes from. So very, very cool. If you're interested, Fanboy and JLA, this is also a buy it now, 25. Let me put these back without knocking them over. And we'll get into some more books. If anybody wants to see some more t-shirts, you can let me know. I'll show this guy. If anybody was interested, I know Deadpool is super popular at the moment. Um, I will offer this. This is Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos number one. So Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos. Really nice crossover book. Howling Commandos, Deadpool, Mrs. Deadpool, and Secret Wars all in one. It's a 9.8. It's 40 if you're interested. 40 bucks on that really cool i think it has some legs on it uh this is 2015 book riley brown did the cover of that so really really cool so 9.8 and uh how uh, howling howling commandos or monster commandos again obviously you have werewolf mummy uh man thing uh frankenstein Awesome, awesome stuff. And she's leading them. So 40 bucks on that if you like some Deadpool. I think the Deadpool stuff's going to heat up. Spec is saying that will probably happen. All right. So let me show a couple other goodies. Got lots of goodies. And uh, I guess no collecting chaos tonight. We're almost at the 90-minute mark, you guys. Appreciate you all hanging out. Uh, what the deuce? I don't know if you need them. I'll offer these. Marvel team-ups, 132 and 133. Both of these, Spidey and Mr. Fantastic and the Fantastic Four. Both books, uh, 15 for both. So Marvel team up 132 and then the 133 with the Fantastic Four in a newsstand, okay? So if you're interested, the 132, I'm going to probably put in a high grade near mint. And then the 133, a little bit of edgeware, probably more like a fine, very fine. So anybody like some Marvel team-ups, 1983 on these. Little 132, 133, 15 on those. <clears throat> I will do, I showed these, I think I might have showed these last week. Little Ghost Rider goodness, you need 132. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what, uh, eight bucks. You want it, Deuce? I was going to say 10. I'll do eight for you, man, if you want it. Nice white cover, if you like. You can see any spine ticks on it. Let me know. I'm happy to, happy to accommodate if you want it. I'll do eight. All right. You got it, man. Cool, cool, cool. You got it. All right. <laughs> If if anybody wanted to pick up the 133, since I broke it up, I'll do five on it. If somebody wants it, newsstand, a little bit of edge wear on it, but the main it just has a little bit here on the edge. You can see right there for condition. So five bucks on this. If anyone's interested, team up 133 with the Fantastic Four. All right, let me show these uh, Ghost Rider. This was Ghost Rider 17 and 22. These both have awesome covers by Mark Teixeira. Love these Ghost Rider. That one has Spider-Man and the Hobgoblin. 
And this one he's throwing the chain at the ninjas. Freaking awesome stuff by Teixeira. I will do, I was thinking five apiece, but I'll do eight for both if you're interested. If you need a single, let me know. Just like Deuce did. I aim to please. I just like to kind of combo and move a little bit more product and books. But if you're interested, Ghost Rider 17 and 22. Eight dollars. Awesome to share a art on those. Eight for both. Five apiece. If you're interested, all right. I showed this one. I picked up another. This is a nice, uh, nice minty copy, man. Of Child's Play Two, number three. Uh, if you're into Child's Play horror books, uh, I have this at twenty. I'll tell you what. I'll do fifteen on it. All right, fifteen bucks. It is by Innovation, 1990 book. It is an adult book, like the movies. It's violent, not for kids. Scare the crap out of kids. But if you're interested, and then Mr. You, if you're still hanging out, we did call the Chucky hotline. No one answered. <laughs> You know how sinister he looks. So if you want it, guys, I have it marked for 20. I'll do 15 on it. Uh, I I already have this run. If you like Child's Play 2. Right. Let me keep going. Let's see. What else we got? Let's see what else we got up in here. Yeah, we'll get you a couple more. Spidey. That's a pretty nice copy. Fantastic Four Annual 13. <laughs> right, Mr. You? That was hilarious. I think you were like, I tried it. No one answered. <laughs> Fantastic Four Annual number 13 in a newsstand. Uh, light, I'm going to put this probably in like a, maybe like an 8-0, right? There's a little bit of wear. Up on this corner, let me show you the back. I mean, it's pretty clean. You have a little bit, you have a little stainage, just very basic. Um, show the bottom here a few slight little scuffs on the bottom. Um, I'll do eight dollars. Someone's interested in this FF annual number 13. They're taking on the mole man, really, really cool book. And again, it is in the annual format i love this cover it's like all those mole man dudes so if you need it i think it's bronze age looks it eight bucks i'll do on that little bit of x-men this was that uh miguel mercado exclusive X-Men number 12 with Psylocke. Uh, awesome stuff by Mercado taking out the Sentinels. Uh, this is an unknown comics exclusive on this one. I was at 10. Tonight, I've shown this a few times. If somebody wants this, I'll do seven. I can't really go five bucks, at least not tonight. So X-Men number 12, Psylocke variant. Seven dollars if somebody wants that. All right, we'll go more Ghost Rider. This one was a key. This is number 21. Ghost Rider number 21, Spear Through the Head. Joe Casada cover on this one. This one is a key. It is the first appearance of Vengeance. I was at 10 on it. I'll do eight. If somebody wants it, eight bucks. Uh, spear through the eye hole right there bam snow blinded white cover nice quality on that yep ka -cha! <laughs> excuse me <laughs> there you go <laughs> yep first vengeance on that all right tell you what we'll show this one i showed this one a bunch of times secret secret war Number four, you want the Ghost Rider deuce? Yeah, man. Can't go wrong. <laughs> ah, <laughs> out your, out your brain. There you go. Thank you. All right. 
we'll go Secret War. This was a Delato hot Black Widow Delato foil cover. I was at 10. I'll cut it in half. I'll do five. Somebody wants this. I just, I don't have this the whole series, but man, look at that freaking awesome cover. Secret War, book four, Delato, five bucks. Throw it in the chat. Awesome stuff. Yeah, it has, you can see, it's a foil on there. And uh, gotta love that outfit. Yep. All right. I'll tell you what I'll do quick. Quick, buy it now for anybody who's hanging out. I appreciate you guys. Here you go. Bam. ASM, $325, $5. Throw it in the chat. First five gets it. It's a steal and a deal. McFarlane, Red Skull. You got a couple copies of this issue. If you're interested, throw in a five or say claim Spidey. It's epic. What's going on, Treasure Scavengers? What's up, Ray Ray? Happy Friday. Rolling solo tonight. Internet problems and people traveling. There you go. You got it, my man. Bam. Nice, solid buy, dude. Appreciate you. All right. You grab some other goodies and take a little, a little sip here. If you guys want to re-see any, I had eight, well, a couple of them sold, but I have <clears throat> around 18 graphic tees I started off the show with. If you want to see those, let me know. All different sizes. I did have, I'll show this one, Red Hot Chili Peppers. This was just awesome. The tag is large. It is actually an extra large shirt. It's crispy, licensed from their tour. This is 20. If anyone's interested, this one was 20. And then I had the Deadpool, which may end up being a keeper, but I want to sell it. Snap Deadpool. Uh, extra large. It's a roomy extra large. It fits yours truly, but I can't keep them all, you guys. I'll offer this. This is 25 bucks. Deadpool, snap, varsity style, cotton. Absolutely awesome. So 25 on this, roomy XL on that, right? On the Deadpool. I think it's awesome. It could be a keeper, but like I said, <laughs> I can't keep them all, man. And then I had Spider-Man. This was this size large, size large uh, pullover hoodie with the kangaroo pocket. Licensed Mad Engine Spidey is 15 on this. It's large, lined hood, really, really nice. So 15 on that. And let me show some more comics. Let's see what else we got here. And most of these, you guys, I'll lower them if I've shown them before. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. We're at the 90 plus minute mark. All right, here you go. This one's awesome. What if Wolverine was Lord of the Vampires? Dracula appearance, Punisher appearance. Uh, this is awesome stuff. I was at 10. I'll do eight if somebody wants it. What if number 24, Wolverine? Lord of the Vampires. Very cool stuff. Dracula, etc., etc. So, horror book. This one's awesome. It is a key. Marvel Premiere, number 35 in a newsstand. Jack King Kirby, man. Awesome. Origin and first appearance of 3D Man by Kirby. 10. If you like it, Marvel Premiere, number 35. Origin, first appearance. This is uh, 1977 on this. If you like Kirby, if you like Bronze Age, and you don't have this, it's a pretty good key to get, uh, especially if you dig on some Jack Kirby. So, light wear, probably put it in a near mint, maybe like a nine on that. So, 10 bucks for 3D Man on that. All right, all right, we're going to go, let's see, let's see, what else we got? <clears throat> ASM 374, Bagley cover, Venom appearance. I was at 10 on this. I'll do eight if somebody wants it. ASM 374 with Venom. This is the lead-in 
to 375, which is the foil issue where they're they're coming at each other on the cover. So Venom attacks 374. Eight bucks on that if you're interested. All right, a little bit more McFarlane goodness if you're interested. McFarlane goodness. Spider-Man, number five. And I have number 12. I will do five apiece, two for eight, if you're interested. So Spider-Man number five, taking on the lizard on that one. And then this one, obviously, with Wolverine. Love how he does his Wolverine. Fantastic stuff. If you like some McFarlane, Spider-Man run, always good, never disappoints. McFarlane was in the zone when he created these. So five apiece, two for eight. Uh, spectacular, number 142, Tombstone appearance on this one. Uh, I was at five, four bucks, if you like it. Spectacular, 142 for four. We'll go Cosmic Spectacular, number 160. This is when he had... The cosmic powers beating the crap out of everybody. You could see he beat the crap out of the rhino, Dr. Doom appearance, beat all these guys up. Cosmic Spidey on that. So uh, four again, if you're interested. And then if you want both spectacular, I'll do seven for both. Tombstone and then cosmic powers. If you dig on some Spider-Man seven for the pair we have let's see i think i have multiple yep all right so if you dig on some eric larson spideys i have these two which have the punisher 330 and 331 330 and 331 i was at five a piece or ten i will do eight for both if you're interested spidey and the punisher with Eric Larson. I think this one's a minor key. I haven't looked that one up. Don't care. 331 and 330 with Punisher. So five apiece or eight on that. I also have 327 with Magneto. That one's also five. <clears throat> and then again, if you're into the numbers on Spectacular, sure. Uh, 142 and 160. 142 and 160 on these. So let me know, Deuce. And then I found 327 with Magneto. If you're interested, I'll drop it. I'll do all three of these. Eric Larson, Spidey's for 10. It's a killer deal. Let me know. ASM, Eric Larson, Goodness, Punishers, and Magneto. Three for ten, if you're interested. ASM 16. This is Renew Your Vows. Renew Your Vows. 142. You got it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, four bucks if you want it. With Tubestone. I had it at five. I'll do four for you, Deuce, if you want it. Four bucks. Just let me know. Tombstone. He's about to drop him off the cliff. Oh, he's dropping him off the... He walked the plank. He's going to drop him. There you go. Thanks. All right. Spectacular Spider-Man number 16. Renew your vows. This is the... Uh, I think it's Mary Jane as as Spidey, as Spider Woman or whatever. I was at five on this. I'll do four. Somebody wants it. Renew your vi renew your vows. ASM sixteen. This is a cover art by Stegman. On that one. Fast times at Midtown High. That's hilarious. All right, and then I had x-men oh man this kick-ass cover x-men number six x-men number six epic jim lee cover um you have wolverine going ah you have psylocke and you have obviously saber tooth i was at five on this i'll do four 
that is one of my favorite Psylocke covers by Jim Lee. So if you like it, four bucks, X-Men number six, Psylocke, Sabretooth. Hot book at the moment. The, the cartoon is popping. This series is doing well. The animated book comics obviously are doing really well as well. So if you're interested, four bucks on that. Let me get some more comics. Got some more goodies. What else did I have? Bear with me a second, you guys. All right, that'll work. Let me show some of these. Uh, this one, this one is, this one is a mid-grade. Uh, comps are really strong on this book. This is that first Spider-Man Wolverine mashup so spidey versus wolverine number one i'll just do five dollars on this you can see it has spine ticks uh but in a high grade not easy to find for cheap but i'll do five on it spidey versus wolverine uh if you got to have it in your life throw it in the chat that is from 1986 on this book spidey wolverine five bucks on that uh, Marvel Zombies Resurrection in Yuk Lee. Um, nope. Sorry, Kale New. Kale New. So if you're into the zombies, Marvel Zombies Resurrection number one, Kale New, unknown comics exclusive, Hulk 181 homage. I was at 15 on this. I'll do 12. If you're interested, it is a nice minty copy. Awesome stuff. Marvel Zombies Resurrection, number one. Kale New. And then it looks like, oh, yep. Looks like uh, zombified Thor as well, kind of in the background. This one was awesome. What if, now this is a John Romita Jr. one-shot. So John Romita Jr. one-shot. What if Spidey versus Wolverine. This is 20, you guys. Nice minty copy. Uh, what if one shot Spidey versus Wolverine? This is 20. Awesome stuff. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I want to make some deals tonight. If you pick this up, it's a hot book at the moment, especially with the What If series. You pick this up for 20, I'll give you this for free. So let me know. I'll do 20 for the pair. This is a nice minty copy. John Romita Jr., Love their fighting in the cold. Really, really cool. So if you like it, let me know. All right. We'll show these um, Marvel Superheroes Summer Specials. These are thick. I'll show these. Thick uh, kind of annual thickness. You can see right there. Really, really nice. Um, you have number two. Summer special. That one has obviously all those guys and Iron Man. You have the number three with the Gray Hulk, Captain Marvel, and obviously Cap. And Speedball made his appearances on these. And then you have the Spring special. This one's cool because it has She Hulk and Doctor Strange. Um, on any of these, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do five a piece. On any of these, if you're interested, right? five a piece on any of these specials. Right. Let me know. This one's probably the best one, in my opinion. Now, conditions are pretty good on them. Just some light, light wear. So, let me show you that. Show you a quick little spine slide here for these. Just to give you an idea. We're kind of like double 
We're kind of like just double cover price, pretty much. You want the spring one? You got it. Just the single can? Or did you just this one? If you wanted all three, just let me know. I'll put this one aside for you. Spring is in the air. It is. So if you wanted these can, just let me know. Otherwise, I'll just take you for that spring one. Right there. Okay, got you just for that. No problem. All right. Keep it rolling. Where are we at? All right, I'll probably go another, I'll probably go to the two hour mark. See, we got some people have left, and that's totally fine. Ooh, all right, we'll do this. I wanted to show these. If anybody's interested, uh, I had Steve, uh, I had Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one, first print, and the action figure, 15 for both, if anybody was interested. That is uh, Chaos Comics, Stone Cold Steve Austin, number one, and I have an action figure. Uh, if you dig on some Stone Cold, uh, 15 for the pair on those. All right, so Homeschool Lou, are you still watching, Lou? I can't, I, I, let me know if you're still in the chat. I'm pretty sure I sold you one of these. I'm pretty sure you bought one of those. And that was Venom versus Wolverine. And I actually thought that was the first uh, Wolverine versus Venom. So let me know, Lou, if you're still watching. Uh, because I found this. <laughs> this is Marvel Comics Presents number 117. This is badass. This is predates this by a few years. So this is actually, I believe this is the first Wolverine versus Venom. Sam Keith artwork on this. This is number 117. And then on the other side, obviously, it's a flip book. So you have Ghost Rider and Iron Fist. Very, very cool stuff. So um, <clears throat> if you're interested in this, I think I had, I think I had this as a $20 book. I'm going to go on this. I do believe this is, the comps were really strong. It is the first issue of the storyline between Venom and Wolverine. Also art by Sam Keith. Tonight, if you're hanging out, 15 on this, I will do it. So if you're interested on that yeah yeah sam keith's artwork is like look at look at like how all this is ripped like the detail is sick kind of like and even like the hairs on wolverine like it's all done with absolutely fantastic skill like his artwork is fantastic stuff so if you're interested uh 15 on this let me know if you're interested in the pair all right this is a, this book's pretty hot as well um i gotta go 30 for both i don't even think i could cut it to 25 on that so wolverine versus venom awesomeness we also have some wolverines okay so we're gonna go <laughs> <clears throat> if anybody's watching and you like Wolverine, this is for you. Codename Wolverine. This is issue number 50 with the die cut. Then we have number 75 with the hollow cover. So number 75, you could see 50, 75. What's coming next? Number 100 and this one is this absolutely awesome foil version of the 100th issue so right there all right so you get 50 75 and then you get 100 all right so I'll tell you what i'll do I will do, if you want all three books, 
Hmm. What do we do? Twenty bucks. If you're interested, if you're lurking, if you're watching, I see some people have left. Wolverine number fifty, seventy-five, and the one hundred. This one's freaking awesome with the full foil. Twenty bucks. I'll do it. I haven't shown these before as this set. So let me know, all right? Wolverine's pretty hot at the moment. I also wanted to show this. It's not for sale, uh, but it's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Wonder Woman number 63. She's back. Cover by Brian Boland. Freaking awesome. Picked this one up from a friend of mine. Bought a collection. Happy to own it. If you guys find this out there in the wild, it's gettable. It is not a cheap book. Yep. Brian Boland. So, and Apple, for your watching, Apple, that Joker, the killing joke, or he's like, smile. And he's taking the picture with the camera from the killing joke. Same artist, Brian Boland. Fantastic stuff. Um, if you're looking for this issue, and you'd like to buy it, let me know. I'm going to a Comic-Con tomorrow, folks. Also in the chat, I will put that out there. If anybody in the chat is looking for anything in particular, uh, I think I know what you guys like, put it in the chat. I'm going to sip my coffee, hang out with you all for a couple minutes, get to the two-hour mark. This has been a lot of fun, um, and we'll wind it down, all right? Because... Uh, other people on panel were traveling. We're going to the Comic-Con tomorrow. Collecting Chaos had some issues with his internet, so I was flying solo tonight. No problem. Got to two hours by myself, which is fantastic. All right. Let's see. I don't think there was much else. Yeah. Are you still watching? What the deuce? Are you still watching, deuce? Let me know in the chat. What the deuce? Are you still hanging out? Let me know. I got a couple comics I think you might like. No pressure. If you left, that's fine. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, Ken. <laughs> I do this for a living. <laughs> it's not a problem. Thanks so much, though. I appreciate it. Oh, there you go. Swampy, Constantine, and random and random invisibles. Doom Patrol. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I do. She's still hanging out. Let me show you these two. Um, if you're interested, no pressure. Uh, I'm going to show this because I know this is a, uh, I don't know if you have it. This is Batman Nevermore. Number two, Bernie Wrightson cover. Really, really cool. What's up, Green Machine? Good to see you, Larry. Uh, I have this at 10 bucks. Uh, I'll do eight if you want it. Uh, Bernie Wright's in cover uh, right there. This is a kick ass story. It's almost like, like, um, like a Sherlock Holmes type meets batman and they're battling it's almost like um hounds of the baskervilles like werewolves and stuff if you're interested i had it at 10 i i'll do i'll tell you what i'll do seven if you want it to uh, just a single i wish i had the whole thing i want to read it uh, i read this it's really cool so seven if you want it no pressure bernie writes in doesn't stick around too long all right and then we're gonna go on this one i know people that like some lobo out there this is bebo and lobo showcase five on this absolutely awesome lobo cover look at that holding the guns so i'll do five on this if you want it i, I pretty much pick up anything lobo so if you're interested let me know five bucks bebo and lobo and you know what 
I know. I wish I did too. Um, I could try to look for these tomorrow as well. So if you're interested in these, just let me know. Uh, I could throw you a combo. If you want them both, you want them. Oh, there it goes. I was going to do a combo, but <laughs> there it goes. Yeah. Bebo, pretty much anything Lobo I pick up. So there you go, Rick. I got it. See, you guys are coming to the chat. I like to cater. Uh, we're almost at the two hour mark. What are you guys looking for? I'd be happy to show um, some more books and hang out with you all. It's no problem. Um, do you want? I had a, I had Swamp Thing number sixty one. Deuce, if you need that, uh, Green Lantern. Um, that was one that I had. Swamp Thing number sixty one, and um, I had a couple Green Lanterns, Green Machine, and my five dollar stack. You guys want me to wail through those real quick again? I'd be happy to do it. I had a whole stack of five dollar books. I know Deuce was here for most of that. I had some Green Lantern books in there as well. If you want to see it, I aim to please. It's no problem. It's just me tonight hanging out. Thanks, friends. The Swamp Thing was uh, the the second one, the Alan Moore, the Alan Moore run. Yeah, I'll show you. This one. Yeah, that one. Number 61. It's the final Alan Moore uh, Swamp Thing. Green Lantern appearance. Pretty cool. So if you need it, let me know. I'll show you guys these real quick. This was my... Um, I did Choice. Uh, Homeschool Lou picked up a few, but I had Poison Ivy number one. This was a uh, variant by Jessica Fong. <laughs> uh, this was be a buy it now. Deuce picked up one. I picked up a bunch of these. If you want to copy anybody in the chat, $325, $5. Throw it in the chat. Five bucks. ASM 325 with McFarlane. If you need it, if you want it, if you're a reseller, flipper, whatever. Five bucks. Throw it in the chat. Just throwing some of the books. This was in my choice first lot. Little McFarlane Infinity. I don't. I think you have this one, Rick. I'm pretty sure. But this was the origin of Obsidian. This is Infinity 33. Early McFarlane from DC Comics. Little Batman 500 by Casada. Spider Gwen number 29. Hulk. 346 final McFarlane issue and the swamp thing. Yeah. So if you guys are interested in any of these, let me know. Yeah, I had the Ghost Riders. I had some to share Ghost Riders if anybody was interested. Uh had an extra Marvel team up if you're interested. I know Deuce picked up the other one. And then <clears throat> let me go through these. I'll go through these real quick. We're at the two hour mark. I know Rick came in, Larry, no big deal. I'll show them real quick. Stop me if you're interested in any of these, okay? Dr. Tomorrow, number nine, kind of uh, <laughs> art of the deal. Gordon Gecko, greed is good. Uh, political vibes going on with that one. Pretty fun. Young Justice. This is a minor key. Superboy identity revealed. Betty and Veronica. This is a Pittsburgh Comic Con number one variant. Monster Kill Squad number two from Bad Idea. I had a couple X-Men in here. These were the Onslaught storyline. I was doing 10 for all three of these they are in a row 54 55 and 56 onslaught 10 bucks for all those this was the key george perez first carol danvers as warbird uh perez cover on that this was this 51 countdown i just like this because it's this awesome poster on the cover uh trifold cover poster on that uh, Alex Ross goodness, JSA number 11, 
uh, Batman 463 Brave Foygal cover. This was pretty cool. Blackest Night Batman number three. Up, oh, you want the Avengers? All right, grab that. <clears throat> Flipped it over. What did I just do? There we go. Do, 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 do. Yep. Can't go wrong. George Perez, awesomeness on that. Also has a poster in it. Nice pickup. Deuce. These were $5 books. Blackest Night, Batman number three. Final book in that has the uh, black, black lantern on this one. Also, um, I think that's an homage to um, the Craven cover for, I think, looks like it. Another Avengers. I love this cover, man. New Avengers 51. Got like everybody in it. Philip Tan cover on that one with Hellstorm number one. Damien Hellstorm, Lilith on the cover. Really, really cool. If you're into Son of Satan, Ghost Rider. Here we go. This was Final Crisis number one. That's Green Lantern cover. Pretty dope. Here we got another copy of that. This was the Marvel Spotlight <clears throat> back in black. Kind of a uh, kind of cool reading, learning about different uh, storylines and stuff. Marvel Spotlight with the black. Uh, well, that's pretty cool. I like the back cover of that too. It has several different things on it. We got JLA number one. JLA number one. Here we go. Green Lantern number 29. Uh, origin of Green Lantern and Aben Sur on that one. Start off the secret origin. This is pretty cool. Michael Turner, awesomeness. 813. Love that cover. Michael, late great Michael Turner. This was fun. Incredible Hulk 603, Wolverine versus Hulk. When I first looked at this, I didn't even see Wolverine. And then I was like, oh, crap. Look at how small he is <laughs> on top of the Hulk. Very cool. Hulk versus Wolverine on that issue. Um, X-Men 313, Phalanx and Sabretooth appearance. Also, obviously, Gambit cover. I know he's been popular. Jim Lee cover 273. Love that. Jim Lee on 273. Ultimate X-Men 37. David Finch with Daredevil. Pretty epic. And then this one had some good value. X-Men 166. Kicking off the Galgotha storyline. Pretty awesome cover there. I think Wolverine does his ab workouts. I don't know. What do you think? Awesome stuff. There you go. You got Gambit and Storm in the background. So if you're interested in any of those, let me know. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I had Pokemon mystery boxes. I had a whole bunch of shirts, other goodies. Um, but we're over at the two-hour mark, you guys. 10 o'clock on the East Coast. We're going to have some fun. Oh, you want them? All right, Marvel Spotlight. All right, let me grab those. Real quick for you, Lou, before I head out of here. And again, you guys, if you saw something you like, you have any questions, let me know. All right. All right. Did you want the Hulk versus Wolverine? Okay. Yeah. The um, one where he's riding on his back. I'll grab that real quick. That one's towards the end. Yep. There you go. You got it. Thanks, Lou. And it's a she. Can I call you by your name? Your actual name? Homeschool Lou? Do you mind? Or do you want me to just say homeschool Lou? Because I know your name. <laughs> but you don't haven't actually said it. So I wanna I wanna protect people's privacy. But let me know. I got you. For a long time, people are like, it's Horizon. What's your name? And I'm like, it's Roy. You can call me Roy. You can call me Horizon. Just don't call me Pix. You can call me Horizon or Roy. Yes. Lou is fine. Okay. No problem. You got it. 
no problem. Yeah. And again, I just want to make sure and and and, and keep everybody's privacy uh, intact. What is up, Secrets? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. I'm going to be connecting up with Shane and Samantha tomorrow at the Comic-Con. Looking forward to that. We're going to have some fun. Yes, yes, yes. Um, did you guys see anything you like? <laughs> I'll, I'll hand it to you tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> we're going to have some fun. Um, let me see if I show a couple more. I know I have so many books, you guys. Let's see. Some weird, eh, I don't think you guys are going to want. Yeah, those are kind of weird independents. <clears throat> um, yeah, I think we'll, I think we'll wind this down. Um, let me say good night. Just got in. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's good. Yeah, they landed. Um, and then we're all going to be meeting up. <laughs> Sam is more than, <laughs> that's right. She exists. So let me go and say good night to the chat. You guys rock. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Um, if you saw anything tonight and uh, you didn't get me in the chat, hit me up on IG. I'll be hanging out, um, finishing up my taxes. Uh, not fun, but got to be done. Yeah. So have an awesome evening. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Thanks so much, Lou. I will be in touch as usual. Appreciate you um, and uh, add on to your box. I know you have already cleaned some books, uh, so I'll be in touch with your total. What to do? Thanks for coming by, man. You know, anything I see, uh, what you're looking for, I think and I have an idea what you're looking for. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye out. Twist, thanks so much for coming and hanging out. Appreciate you. Have an awesome weekend. Spinner Rack Rick. We'll be seeing you tomorrow, my man. Rick is meeting up with us at the Comic-Con. Thanks so much, my man. Good to see you. Larry, have an awesome weekend, Larry. Good good to, good to catch up and have you stop in. Whether you guys come for the whole show, if you come in the beginning, if you come at the end, that's awesome. Custodian Ken, have a sip for me, man. That's awesome. I'm out of beer at the moment. It is sad, but I think I'm going to have some tomorrow for sure. Yes. So let me go up here. Deuce. Ray Ray. Thanks for coming by. Happy Friday. If you guys are still lurking, hanging out. Mr. You, thank you so much. Thanks for chilling, having some fun. I saw Vanessa, I think, was doing laundry. And I think that is everybody. I think. I got Twist. Vanessa, da, 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 da. oh, Lord, Miss Laura, good to see you, Laura. Thank you for the claims. I will be in touch. And East Coast Comics at the beginning of the show. Thank you so much for hanging out. All right, let me go back down here. And uh, <laughs> that's right. Yes. Uh, so we're going to get out of here, guys. Almost at two hours, 10 minutes. Awesome show tonight. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out. Uh, we should have the full panel next Friday. Uh, and uh, let's see, what is the date? We're going to be in the middle. Yeah, tomorrow's, uh, next Friday's the 19th. Don't forget, you guys, next Saturday, I'm going to be doing the 420 show. That's at 6 o'clock next Saturday. Flying solo again, kind of like this, but really going to be kind of 420-centric, fun, party, shirts, merch, tees, uh, everything's legal. A lot of people have asked me that. Everything's legal that I'm going to be offering up. But have an awesome weekend. Uh, and uh, be excellent. Stay excellent. Be excellent to one another. Thanks so much, you guys. See ya. Bye.